Hello everyone, it's Linda from Full Moon Studio. Welcome back to the channel and a very quick video to show you my new toy. Um, so this is, or was, my mum's typewriter um, and she was using it up until a couple of years back um, when um, arthritis in the little fingers just, you know, made it more and more difficult. So she hasn't used it for a couple of years uh, and on a recent visit I said, well mum, you know, I think I could give it a home and do something with it. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Now I learned to type, learnt I say, two fingered um, with my mum's typewriter, not this one, the one before. Um, I used to type two fingered and then I did actually um, learn to type properly uh, and I learnt to type on an electric typewriter and that was you know hugely exciting compared to using one of these. And then in my first job um, not only was my typewriter electric but it had a thing called a golf ball. So instead of um, the letters coming up on, on this from the basket here, and the letters on the end there, you had this little golf ball covered in, um, you know, letters and you could drop it in and then as you typed it kind of spun, but you could take it out and you could put in a different one. So, you know, you could have two different fonts or if the company you worked for was really flush, maybe three or four. Um, so, you know, it was exciting times. Anyhow, this is, um, as I say, a basic manual typewriter. Um, it's 1970s. We're not 100% sure um, when mum got it, but it's somewhere between 40 and 50 years old. So I think we can call it a vintage typewriter. Um, and let's have a play. So I'm going to pop in some, some paper in there. Okay, we're in, lined up, and then this is how you set your margins. You, you move this along, so I'm going to put that to about there. That looks all right. Not worried about that margin on that side. And I think that's single spacing. So let's have a go. Okay, not too bad. Um, so that sentence, uh, beloved or hated, depending on how you look at it, by everybody who's ever learned to type in English, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Um, and the reason for that, of course, is every letter of the alphabet is um, represented. Now, I'm interested to see that my Q, which I would have used my little finger with, is a little bit fainter, um, as is my P this little finger here. Um, so um, some of them are not so bad. The A is not so good either. But, you know, you get that difference um, in the colour of the type simply um, from your um, how hard you press the key. So that's us. Um, that, it types. It types in black. It's beautiful. Um, and of course, I've got a two colour ribbon. Um, you can still get these. Um, I got this one a couple of years back, I think. Um, they're about four quid, so they're easy to get. Um, and I think, I think it's this little button down here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we are. We can type in red. So we've got the one font and two colours. Um, but, you know, that's, that's better than nothing, isn't it? Uh, and I just, I love the look of it. So really what I was thinking that I might be using it for would be... Oops, um, you know, to type something like field notes or specimens to make my own little labels for things. Um, and obviously I can type on different coloured papers. Um, and I'm thinking that tea or coffee dyed paper will go into the typewriter much more easily than putting it through um, your printer because I don't put tea or coffee dyed paper through my printer. I've heard that it's really not very good for it. Um, so there, there we have it. Um, my new toy that I can type on, um, play around with, and just have fun. So I hope you've enjoyed that little trip down memory lane, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.